Yeah. See, this is all. This is all very. Um, and eight very, weeks ruins yeah. that. Yeah, it's all very, very reasonable to turn around and say, well, why don't you just put a lot more effort in developers? Why don't you just try harder forehead, scale issue, etc.? Well, and that's not really what anyone's arguing here because it's yes. not. It's, we um, know for basically a fact it is not that. So, on that then, scope. Why, uh, why was this patch not scoped appropriate with its development time? Because maybe if it was, we wouldn't have Codex of Chromie, or maybe there's one or two other things we wouldn't have, but maybe the raid wouldn't be kind of busted on launch. Maybe less things would have broke. Maybe a little bit more, you know, you could have had a more considered design for the event. Hmm. It's I'm not asking for more and better i am asking for like the same amount of effort but less things so that they can actually be shipped at a at an acceptable level of quality yeah i think that's where my sticking point uh, is my sticking yeah, my sticking point is quality i really really wonder what's going on with um i wonder how this releases basically and I can only imagine it's because they just go, this is the locked, this is the locked it, it's going, mm -hmm. it's going. And it feels like almost, like the War Within was so close to being the same conversation. The War yep. Within was so close to them going, it is, uh, the release date is locked, try and I feel like we're at that point where you can only, like, juice your, like, developers for extra time and stuff and to get something just about out like, so, so often. Once every, you know, it's almost like there's a cooldown on burning them into, like, smithereens or to ashes. Which, now, obviously, I don't know if that's happened, but I know that I don't imagine anyone is happy anyone who shipped any of this is happy with it yeah. and i don't and i don't just yeah. mean not happy with it as it shipped i mean not happy with the fact that they've had to spend the rest of this week fixing it anyway this work has had to happen it's just happening when the game is also live yeah. for it some can, reason it can happen in a way that is controlled that you've planned for or it can happen like this hmm. i guess that's the other big point Say you are the person who led the design on Awakening the Machine. What you intended to ship for players seems like it was going to have quite a bit of challenge, maybe some strategizing, different abilities, a whole bunch to it. And what you actually had to ship was this abomination of your own work that doesn't reflect what you scoped, what you wanted to make. Now, there's a degree to which the conditions are probably so that, yeah, you're, you're proud enough that you got something shipped under those circumstances. But yeah. someone who, you know, if, if you put people sort of through that again and again, and maybe it's similar with Codex of Chromie, they're going to leave. They're, they, they won't want to just put, port, you know, put career building years into shipping absolutely cut down slop features yeah i mean actually there's a good example of that uh there's a number of reasons the developer behind it left obviously but and leaving before it was finished kind of caused a lot of the problems but the i can never remember what it was called the kyrian event the oh, like, ascension uh the hollows or the travel yeah. center was yeah that thing had a lot of potential to be really fun and interesting and it was until you get about halfway through and then realize the last half wasn't tuned or finished and it was horribly broken and it took them all expansion to have someone else come on to fix it. And that's like, well, obviously, like, you're not going to be happy if you're told to ship that and you have to ship it. Or if you have to suddenly come on and fix it in someone else's vision that you're like, oh, you're in panic mode, get this working, get this, get this functional, get it to go. It's, it's just disappointing that that's the, what everyone has to deal with it's like there is not a single person happy with this except maybe whoever's looking at uh, all of the revenue from the mount oh they're thrilled they are oh yeah they are currently you know i can't say it on youtube what they're doing 
about what they're doing. They're having they're having a lot of fun looking at that number. Let's say uh, I can share that for I can uh, see that. And it's just and even that can be uh, can be sort of a little concerning because by all their metrics, stuff's great. Mm-hmm. But what's core player sentiment going to be like? Whenever the patches, you know, the actual gameplay is like that. And what's yeah. it going to be like whenever people go to do Codex Acromi for the third time in, you know, two weeks? Or people who have realized, oh, Codex Acromi, every first completion of the day, I get Warbound gear, that'll be useful for my alts. And uh, they just go through the <laughs> carbonated beverage, they just go through those motions. Yeah. Uh, th- they're not going to have. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to have fun. So, if you're in a situation where you can have money numbers that look amazing, uh, that can be dangerous. I mean, even do you remember Destiny Two Lightfall, where it actually uh, hit records for like player numbers? Um, it seems to have sold really, really well, and then they undershot revenue expectations by forty five percent following it. Because even though it produced amazing numbers, that didn't last. Because the actual design of the thing wasn't where it needed to be. The quality wasn't where it needed to be. Players weren't enjoying it. And so whenever you like, whenever you tell people, "Oh, this is the big you know celebration event," uh, you're just you're not training people to take you seriously. And I guess, like, it's the twentieth anniversary. <laughs> Of all the things to cock up. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Look, cocking up a major patch would be worse, yes. Mm. And you could say this is just a little ma- you know, a little minor patch. But it is the 20th anniversary. Mm. And like past 20th anniversary, or past anniversary things, you know, haven't been, oh wow, you know, crazy amazing. Um, but I don't think they were sort of damaging in the way that this one is. I mean... Take the tier two remasters. Those, I think, are actually damaging now. Because there are really... In immediate short term, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because they're a really good reward. But earning them sucks. Earning earning them sucks if... I will say earning them sucks if you're, one, trying to get them immediately. And two, if you want a lot of them. Because I will go to bat here and say that we, generally speaking... On in terms of min maximum rewards, we do end up speaking for a portion of the community that care about like maxing out their rewards or at least getting plenty of them. I'd say there's a decent number of people who are just kind of doing whatever and getting one and being kind of chill about it, but I have no idea how much uh, yeah. of that is. But personally, I want three. Like, like, so yeah, to be clear, yeah. I'm not going to get all of these. Absolutely not. Not a chance. My, uh, I worked out for the things that I actually want, it would cost 200 tokens. And I have 10 weeks to get those tokens. I will get that. It won't be fun. It also won't be, you know, a heavy lift or anything. Yeah. Um, it'll just be some going through the motions. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not trying to say that, oh, everybody should want to get all of them. No, absolutely not. Um, but that's a really good carrot. You could have done something there when you have a really good carrot. You've invested money in that really good carrot. Um, I mean, you think about the the Legion Mage Tower, it had some cool rewards, and maybe for something like this, it's probably targeting a broader base of players, you yeah, wouldn't go every, for something ev- super hard. Everyone, everyone. But I, I... I just think this could have been better used as a feature. Yeah. Uh, or as yeah. a reward, sorry. I don't, I don't know what other feature you'd, you'd put it on, but... Um, going through the motions in a bunch of weeklies. And it's weird, because even, you know, Blizzard probably decided, oh, we'll be player-friendly. Mm-hmm. We will put these in the Kazalgar weeklies so that people who don't want to do the event stuff won't completely miss out. Which doesn't... Uh, like, immediately backfires. Because... you then tune the system to the amount avail- available weekly. Which they evidently have. Oh, that's clear. It's clear until the <laughs> until the a hundred achievement pops and we see how much people playing and playing yeah. get. It does very much look like that. And even that's a thing where if it turns out you get a hundred and then you drown in bronze 
uh, celebration tokens. Funny they said bronze celebration tokens after bronze of Mob Remix was also a currency plagued with earning uh, viability <laughs> issues across different uh, kind of things. But I think um, even if that is a solve, it's that like initial bit of just stuff that's launching and it's really kind of slow and they maybe have some grand plan, but they kind of don't expect it to be, or they don't expect it to be the way it is or they don't, they don't like have enough kind of time to talk about these things and think like i don't say thinking through as if they're just plowing ahead on thinking like but it's like it's not enough time been able to in this you know you laugh at like government uh like committees been made to figure out all of like the, the potential impacts of stuff like that but there is an element here of like sit down in a room with enough people and think for enough time and plan out enough stuff like what is the player response to the system going to be and the player response to the system and like the system is do like, do do a ton of stuff a ton of different various stuff that you've already done half of by the way for three to four weeks for like basically a full month uh which is like half the event two? time three to four weeks oh well, sorry sorry until you get the hundred yes, yeah until you get the hundred yeah. then you do everything else then maybe it maybe it opens up fine after that and it's like now you get to grind freely and you'll have a great time but even that's like, you know, if if you have a consult, if you have a player consultant on board who's being paid to think about this stuff, I would reconsider how much you use them or utilize them, whatever, or something along like those I, lines. I, yeah. Have you guys even done the raid you complained about? I thought it was fun. Yeah, we literally talked about the raid about 10, 10, 15 minutes ago, and I said it was a great raid. I think the Black Red episode is excellent, generally speaking. Just a shame it launched uh, very poorly tuned. Yeah, which again, if you weren't there, you wouldn't know. Yep. Um, but the point is, whenever you're releasing something, your release has got to be good. And this was the worst release they've had in a very long time. And yeah. our, our concern is that... You can imagine there's a version of this patch that is 10 weeks, and I know anniversary date exists, but... Just imagine for a sec, right? And the raid comes out. And normal is what it's intended to be, and heroic is what it's intended to be. The numbers are actually tuned. And then whenever people get excited about the patch, they get marketed to about the patch, they decide to log in, they play the raid, they then have a good time. As opposed to what I saw in and around launch day, which is people complaining about the raid because they felt like it was a waste of time. Mm. Because tuning problems. Or people who were just going to go and do their regular raid night in Nauru Bar, but had persistent disconnect issues. Yeah, the server instability is, I think, like, I can roughly forgive a patch not being great, right? Uh, I can very loosely forgive it because it's basically par for the course. We expect things to launch now and they're not great and they get fixed over a week or two. That's been how it's been, been for, for the longest time. And there's an element of when do we get tired of that? when do we expect things to be right first time? Because it's like, if you have like a like a trainee employee or something, you kind of go, okay, well, it's fine if if, if you get things wrong. Mm -hmm. Here's a correction process. But at the point where they've had this correction process for the past like full expansion in a bit. Obviously, you know, uh, since the correction process started uh, after not happening for a long time. Um, but then at that point, you kind of get a little tired. The point where I draw the line is where the game is straight up just... When the patch is a net loss, that's where I kind of start to draw the line yeah. on what's acceptable and no, what's not. Me, turns out it's a Mac OS bug. Just oh, yeah. every time I log into any one of my characters on this computer, every single add-on is just enabled. Yeah, you also can't play Warcraft and Reforged on Mac at the minute. Cool. That's just an aside. That's just an aside. <laughs> um, that, yeah. that, there's been other technical issues that, that people have had as well. Yeah, there, there, there's plenty, um, and that's not even mentioning tuning lag. and things like that. Yeah, world lag been... I haven't experienced anything too bad, but we did get someone who was... Um, so BRD, obviously, is implemented like a time walking rate. Mm -hmm. In that you can do it from the person that's got all... From an NPCs, all the stuff. What happened was we had one of our players uh, was... I don't know why they had left him. They didn't leave it themselves. They were booted out of whatever. So we had to all leave the instance. To queue back in and it still took my lock out because I was really there. Sweet, beautiful. Uh there's no teleports out the dungeon. You know the way BRD has the mole machine? There's none of that. We just uh 
just had to walk the whole way through the raid. And the boss checkpoint we had didn't come back. So whenever we died on the boss, we had to run the whole way back to the raid again because cause queuing back into the lockout doesn't trigger the checkpoint. And it's a lot of really small things like that. That Because there's, there's, there's checkpoints in the raid. That's fucking sick. Why are they not on an error bar? Anyway, we get, okay, the checkpoints they put in, but they there's none for queuing back in. There's none for if your lockout breaks. A lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of very small small things like that that could be fixed if... Because I know that's going to be on... Maybe if not on the list of the people implementing the raid. It's going to be if they sit on a raid, if they look at a raid and go, what do I do now to make it better? That'll they'll hit that eventually. They'll hit QOL features that are not necessary, but fucking beloved. Really, really good. They'll hit those eventually if they get enough time, but they never get that far down the list. It's always, is this working? Mostly. Bang. Off we go. Sorted. Beautiful. Wonderful. Job done. Go relax. Go have 30 minutes off before we ship the patch, and then we have to call you in to fix everything that you knew wasn't ready. Because you knew it wasn't ready. Because everyone in, in Blizzard w sees this game. Like, yeah, there's they're obviously, they're stupid. like, there's world lag and server issues and a load of, like, uh, insane bugs that they're maybe not going to catch, right? Um, until it's in live, event, live environments. But then they're going to know stuff's going to happen. They're like, ah, bleh. It's just explodes. Just explodes. And it's like, yeah, all of this stuff that just exists, it's been, it's taken time. It's just going through the motions. Those designers could have been working on maybe a longer project. Like a Brawler's Guild return. Maybe you don't do Codex of Chromie. And, and that time just goes into another feature so that it can launch and be really good. To the, you know, to the, to the point where people will actually... Oh, I mean, just, yeah, property care, property give a shit. Even with this patch, like, you could, I mean... Not that I'd want to, but... If you were to scrap the raid, scrap absolutely everything. And all you were doing was Codex of Chromie. But it was full tilt what it could be. Big I'm, event. I'm actually going to disagree with that. I'm going to disagree with that on the grounds that... What, the, one of the problems with the Codex of Chromie... And one of the problems with a lot of content that they make is that you cannot have one bit of content for everyone in this game. You cannot. You have too many different people who like different things. So you have to at least have enough of the shotgun effect that yeah, works. Yeah. The problem they continually run into is because I wouldn't give a shit about the Codex Chromie if it if the game wasn't going, go do this thing for the reward that everyone wants. And it's almost the same with gearing issues that happen with the delves kind of giving people too strong gear for the difficulty and then for pushing them into M plus for like mythic track gear and stuff. For the where where we were before with raiders feeling like they had to yeah. M plus. Yeah, so yeah. this th this happens when, because you can't please everyone. You can please everyone, but that's by having a big menu. And they've been learning that and they've been doing that, right? But then something like this comes and they go, okay, well, we will create one unified umbrella one unified system that has to work for everyone and that's the reward system and they didn't carry over the lesson of like that multiple like angle multiple branches multiple things approach they went this is the unified thing everyone does everything everyone does everything and it's like it's not a difficult fix it's not a difficult fix it's not a difficult thing to see it's just you have to be looking and if you're in a rush to implement things, you don't have the time to look. And I think that's the, that's really the crux of it. Because there's a lot of it. We could talk for days about the individual issues of this patch, right? We could talk about how class training, which we barely touched, is oh, yeah. just abysmal. We'll maybe talk about that in depth for almost like a, can, is there a way out? Is there another thing about that? Maybe talk about it in a bit. But I think the problem is literally that they don't finish anything properly they don't give things enough time they just don't they simply don't because class tuning is busted in every capacity it's there's times where it gets almost good and then a patch comes and wrecks it again basically 
Because we were kind of getting there towards the before this patch launched, because all of the war within hot fixes. <laughs> Big grenade thrown in, totally yeah. ruined. <laughs> yeah, every patch yeah. is a grenade, and there's some there's some elements of that that's like necessary, right? Because you want the Dark Ranger, like revamp, you want that to improve things. You want uh, like the redesign for Paladin class tree. You want the Boomkin redesign stuff like that. But it is just you know it is, it feels like there's a there's a team that are. I have no idea how they actually do this internally, but it feels like they've got a team who's tuning the classes and making all the, like, flicking all the knobs and the aura tuning and the damage tuning and looking at the numbers and going, okay, we're getting the result we can't have here. And then there's just, like, other people in the background, the classes energy, who are just doing their job. But their job is throwing massive nonsense at the people currently tuning. It's like, oh, did you get that really close to tuned? And then walking in with, like, just in full clown style, a big pie and just smacking <laughs> in the face. And it's going, ha you thought you had it tuned? Ha Better luck next time. And they sprint back off in. And, like, the concern it feel, is... It, it feels like that's happening. because you're like, like a death march to those employees. Yeah. Yeah, please. It's like, oh, great. Yeah. The, we've, ha, oh, we've just got on top of this after six weeks. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, we balanced our classes. Perfect. And then someone goes in and goes, uh, here's the new numbers. And they're like, what the f- <laughs> How? What? How? Yeah. It's, like, I, I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know if the teams are, like, if that's one team responsible for it. I don't know if the person who goes, well, I think paladins should have this ability and change things. I don't know if that person then has to go and go on in spreadsheet mode. Beep, beep, hmm. numbers, numbers, beep, beep, numbers, beep, beep. I don't know. But it certainly feels like they're, they're, you know, the left hand fighting the right hand. And you're like, who's going to win? Nobody. Nobody.